Hello my friends, another video in English and I'm still sitting behind the computer but no, I'm not playing any games. I'm pretty sure that you know this, this guy, Mark Spagnuolo from Wood Whisper and this year I decided to join uh, to Woodworkers Fighting Cancer and what we must do this year is uh, elevated dog bowl. So, li like you see, all plans is already done, but but I don't have a dogs. So, what I what I should to choose? Yes, that's right. I decided to change name of this uh, this work and we will try to do some stuff for cats because I I have two of them and so of course I I will use this uh, SketchUp model but I must resize it down because of course cats are much smaller so yes I must try I must uh, check all dimensions and all will be much more smaller. Okay, so I can start uh, work uh, with wood and I decided uh, to use quite old oak and like you see is quite, hmm, <laughs> is for sure not straight. and. It's quite hard work uh, for sure on the on the um, pl uh, on the planer because when the board is uh, um, white and I decided to um, okay never mind next machine is thicknesser then it's much more easier and the the Thickest piece will be, uh, I think it will be for the legs. It's about 30 by 30 millimeters. And next machine is, of course, uh, table saw and cross cutting for, for the legs. So, four pieces, quite easy job here. Yeah? Be careful on your hands and next cut cross cut two it's the, the biggest part tabletop and the yes and cut for this way and this uh, this part will be I'm not sure how to call it, but it will be connector for for the legs. And this part, these parts will be nine by uh, eighteen millimeters. So I I will use a thicknesser, couple passes, and and done. The easiest the easiest. Uh, the easiest work, sorry, the easiest work <laughs> on this machine for sure. And couple cross cuts for this uh, small parts. And it's done. It's look okay, but of course it's not ready yet. Come on, Mark! <laughs> it's it's b all because you. This uh, this part should have bended cut on the bottom. So I decided to um, to make jig from the steel uh, steel part. Of course, this. Uh, uh, 
the the work f uh, with the small parts wooden part parts like this is quite hard so i think the the biggest problem for me in this in this uh, whole work was that uh, the old parts are so small so for sure if you do work like this but um, you know for the for the docks then will be much easier okay so this bended cut from the bottom I decided uh, to do on the very small scroll saw and like you see it's <laughs> to, to, I must remove about three millimeters <laughs> yeah it's, it's funny but um, of course you must uh, be very very careful with with this uh, small parts because it's much harder to to keep in keep it in place and this jig is only to cut uh, two angle cuts on the legs and like you see the the piece is uh, really flying on the on the workshop when the blade is uh, removed and now i must make it you know nice for for hands so i decided to use a spoke shaver and then some sanding paper yes yeah, sanding paper about uh, 100 grit and then uh, more than 200 and it's okay should be okay so next next part uh, I decided to just to, to check how it's look how it's look like because uh, I I've changed couple dimensions and the legs I did uh, about five millimeters thicker than from from the um, sketchup plans but I think looks cool okay so next <laughs> next part will be tricky because I must drill I must connect legs with these connectors so I have uh, marked exact center of this uh, piece and I just um, count how thick must be um, some stops some some wooden blocks because I will use another speci special um, it's a Polish invention uh, drill very very accurate like you see, it's so easy to to, um, to drill, even in um, piece like this, uh, such a small, but even my kids uh, can use it because you cannot did uh, any mistake. If you uh, have prepared these blocks, now it's easy. So. It was just uh, uh, it was uh, drilling in this uh, legs connection connect connectors and now the same situation on on the legs on the left side and the right side it's very very easy and accurate job and now it's time it's time it's time sorry it's time to start uh, work with tabletop so the caliper uh, is uh, i need to cut cut out 120 millimeters uh, uh, circle so i will try to find where i should to to cut out cut out uh, it was a bad, bad place i i was 
move it about uh, 20 millimeters to the to the middle and now it's okay of course I, I will I'm drawing this circle only just for you I need it I don't sorry I don't need it uh, for normal work I just need um, to find the center and six millimeter drill in the center for for pilot and now is uh, time to hold it in the place yeah so you you must remember you you must remember that uh, the, the piece must be held really tight it cannot move uh, any uh, any di direction direction and must be stable okay and now it's time to uh, set the the caliper for uh, for the root router and if I use uh, I'm using a six millimeter pilot hole so pilot pin so the dimension should be 60 by 2 sorry 60 plus 3 millimeter millimeters and I start working but 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 look at this <laughs> damn I was so angry yes the the pinhole was uh, start uh, moving and yes total total totally fail total fail yes what can i say shit happens yeah okay so i back to uh to another room in my workshop and i prepared another piece and then I uh, tied it this pinhole I tied it uh, much stronger and uh, now my lovely Kana plane just to make uh, flat on the on the sides and on the top I decided to use uh, uh, this sander but uh, it's uh, only move about uh, 1.6 millimeter so it was too too slow to remove some scratches so this this time uh, I use a much faster sander and on the edges I decided to uh, to use uh, at edge routers yeah I think it's a proper name or maybe not <laughs> but on the legs the the pieces are are too tiny so of course I am using just sander blocks and you can use this sander uh, this way too it's easy and safe for sure okay and time for uh, for gluing up all pieces together and I decided to use just CI glue uh, you know it's it's tiny tiny pieces tiny dowels just six millimeters so you don't need any stronger joints uh, just just you must uh, use good good glue and of course uh, please remove all glue um, because when you don't uh, do it properly then you have a trouble like me <laughs> you will see okay and some uh, very de delicate clamps and after two minutes all the base is ready nearly because this glue yes so I I was um, spending on this uh, part of job 
next five minutes just to remove all the all the uh, all the glue uh, and of course you must do it really carefully because uh, even if you don't see this uh, this uh, this marks when you when you use uh, oil of uh, or sorry or so you must spend here a couple minutes to remove all these marks because when you prepare the wood by oil or varnish you will see you will see all all these marks and for sure you don't want it. you don't want it okay and now it's time to um, connect the base and the and the top and the same situation i decided to connect uh, by ca glue it's a thick version of course you can you can use all these uh, special connectors or you make you you can uh, you can make own connectors what you want but in this situation the all this uh, elevated cat's ball is really tiny so I think this kind of connect connections will be enough you just need to wait about two or three minutes and we'll be ready to next step and here it is so I decided to use uh, varnish in spray I don't use it very often but in this in this uh, project I think will be good because uh, cats or dogs or you know pets they don't care about cleaning uh, after after it after breakfast or supper so the varnish will be much um, much better solution than oil i think uh, and uh, of course uh, please don't uh, use to thick layer la layer so i decided to put um, three or four layers even and after 30 minutes the the this varnish is uh, ready to next co uh, next layer but uh, i decided to use uh, sandpaper like you see it's uh, 240 grit and it's quite old paper so uh, it will help to remove any hairs from the wood of course use please use also um, also um, air to remove all the dust and then you can put another layer and now believe me it's look really cool the oak the species uh, was quite quite old one uh, quite rustic so yes for, for sure rustic type of wood is really cool for projects uh, like this and voila it's nearly ready i cover cover it uh, four times okay so here it is ah no 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 sorry it's a, <laughs> a wire something from the shop but here it is oak dining table for our pets i think it look really cool of course it's you need to work uh, you need to spend couple hours to to finish it but it's uh, it's you know it's uh, just uh, one afternoon and that's it so if you like it please 
tell me something about it, about that. If you don't like it, you also please write a comment. I will be really grateful. And I think I have only I have something in my mind, one extra uh, project. So please follow me and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.